Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. We're going to talk about love and money, so let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. So let's start with money. I know you came here for love, but we're going to start with money. All right, let's see what's going on for money. Money for Taurus. All right, so um, the page of cups and the ten of pentacles. Very nice. So this is getting creative in terms of how to get to a place of financial stability, making the right investments, maybe getting with a financial advisor, um, a banker, a financier, um, so that you can have long-term financial security, so that you can um, wealth, legacy, so that you can pass something to the next generation. Um, some of you want to start something or start a business or something in terms of fashion and beauty, something that has to do with women or yeah, women would be your main consumer, right? Um, you could be in the banking industry or you, or you're trying to get more savings or um, some of you, this is trust fund or transference of wealth or, you know, um, the kid gets the money to, with the page of cups here. What is going on here in terms of money? You could be waiting to get money. Yeah. Um, so if you get married, you'll get money. Some of you could be marrying into money or you want to marry into money or a comfortable situation where you feel like if you were married, things would be more balanced. Um, you need to do something in moderation to change your money matters. There might be a big expense that you have to pay for, so make that you make sure you save for it or you've already saved for it. Um, it can have something to do with family or surrounding the family or home or travel. It's like you want change, but you just talk about changing. You don't actually have it. You don't actually go after it. You don't do it. That's why things are staying the same. One more card for uh, money for Taurus. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Let something end or there's a completion, an ending. Let it let it dissipate this hard time, this trial in your life, um, this trial in your finances. It, there's a rainbow on the other side of it. Maybe you'll take this energy because energy never dies. You'll take the energy of all this hard labor, hard time, right? And you'll turn it into something great. Um, you'll take with you life lesson. Some curses being lifted or some hard um, task. Uh, this is hard living. This is ending though. It's disseminating. It's going away. Yeah, maybe a lifestyle change or alteration is happening for you with the lovers. Someone will come into your life. They can actually change the dynamic of your finances and your life altogether. This is a lifestyle choice that you're making. So you might need to change your lifestyle. You have the three of wands. You got to look at the long view. You, some of you, it's like, I want it now, right now. So then you're going to do things to get money right now. And it's going to be right now money. And it's going to go fast. But the cards are asking you to look at the long view. Look at, um, you know, the long term. Take the long view. That means it's going to take some time. What the energy that you put out there is going to come back to you in the three of wands. So if the energy that you're putting to the universe is that I want long term financial stability, goal attainment, goal achievement, then they will put you in a place where you can have that, but you don't have to grow that. So they may put you at a business where the business owner tells you, you know, um, I don't like a lot of turnaround. I want people to be here for years. I want people to be comfortable. Or they may put you in a place where um, you could start a business and it might be small, but then you see, you know, as long as you work it, it's slow, steady growth. Because Ten of Pentacles, financial security doesn't come overnight unless you win the lottery and we know what happens with people with the lottery, statistically. That money doesn't even stay with them. If anything comes to you fast, it's going to go fast. Right? You get some fast food. You typically eat it fast. You don't savor it and 
save it until next week and put it in the refrigerator and leave it. No, but if you take your time and make a big meal, you'll have leftovers, you'll put it in the refrigerator, you could eat on it for maybe a week, you know? Or, or you could stretch it. So it's about time, understanding time, all right? Um, understanding energy too. So let's see. Uh, what's going on for love in terms of uh, my Taurus? Okay, so the nine of swords, not so good. A lot of worry, overthinking. Um, yeah, overthinking, worry, um, ruminating thoughts. Yeah. Thinking about what happened and what didn't go right and what you said and what you should have said or what you didn't say. Just the inability to cope with something ending. This is either you or somebody else, or it's the both of you. You can't cope. This is codependency. Eight of cups. Yeah, maybe you've checked out or somebody checked out. This is somebody who would visit your home or visit your town, or you would do this and then you would hook up and then it would you would leave. And the nine of swords and the eight of cups. This is you know staying in something longer than you should have. You know, saying that uh, I'm just going to finish up and then I'm going to move on. But the universe may have come in and ushered a complete change for you. Ushered in a complete change. You were already emotionally checked out or somebody was. It's despondency. It's you not getting what you need in order to stay checked into the relationship. But you choose to stay anyway. This is walking away, out of, you know, an act of self-respect also. Um, from the king of wands, okay? Somebody who was more so about themselves, for themselves. Yeah, ace of cups. Where there was very little progression in the relationship. Always a new start. Always starting over. Always going back to scratch in, in regards to the relationship. There could have been somebody who wasn't good with money trickery deceptive deception um something about a house with the ace of cups let's see what's going on here in love so the king of swords so this is somebody who you couldn't talk to can't tell them anything macho macho man um but they don't even know how to govern correctly they don't know how to govern accordingly this is somebody who was not you know tapped into their god um, the God voice wasn't within them. They weren't listening to. They were out for self also. This could be same-sex relationship. This is somebody who left you holding the bag, ghosted you, or ghosted the situation. Or This is somebody who's now getting negative karma. They're in the dark. They're by themselves. They were looking out for self, and then they ended up by themselves. Or they're ending up getting all this negativity that they were putting out the ditch that they dug for you Taurus or if this was you and the ditch they dug for you now they're falling into it or they've already fallen into it yeah let's get you some advice and close on out let's see big happy changes are in the way for you if you definitely heed the advice the money advice big happy changes let's see what else And we had the, yeah, we had the, um, and we had the, yeah, um, the temperance card. And it talks about change comes by way of you. If you don't change, nothing changes. Yes, you got a yes answer, okay? And then you have success, all right? Let's go ahead and clarify the yes answer. Okay, success happens, um, when opportunity, when preparation meets opportunity, success will happen. So make sure you're prepared for something. Don't be unprepared. Don't be like, give me five minutes, give me 10 minutes. I don't know. Don't be, be prepared. So when the opportunity comes knocking, you'll have success, right? And you can make these big, happy changes. Um, so... I don't know, for some of you, the question is, was somebody getting their karma? Is somebody thinking about you? Is somebody getting what they manifested? Because that reduces to an 11. Yes, they're in prison. 
maybe spiritual prison, maybe it could be even be in physical prison. Somebody is thinking about you um, over and over and over again. They're in prison. They're waiting for you to come and let them out. When you're a prisoner, you gotta wait for somebody to come and unlock the door, right? So this person, yeah, could be waiting for you to come back to them. We talked about that, about you visiting or you coming back or, I don't know. This is what I have for you, Taurus. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or eight by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, go to the website, book your reading there. It's 40% off, 40 off coupon code at the website. Many blessings to you. Take care.